Let's read the article Titan Fact Sheet. As we read, we're going to cache, right? That means we're going to make connections, we're going to ask questions, summarize, and highlight important details. So I've got my pen, I've got my highlighter, and I'm ready to begin. Titan Fact Sheet, paragraph one. Titan is a large moon orbiting the planet Saturn, about 866 million miles from the sun. The surface of Titan is hidden by a thick, hazy atmosphere. But in the past few years, spacecraft have managed to collect images and other data that tell us about what lies beneath the haze. They found something that's common on Earth, but very unusual in the rest of the solar system, lakes and seas. Okay, first I'm going to make a connection to what we did in class. It says that spacecraft have managed to collect images and other data. This is like the information we got from Dr. Flores. So this reminds me of the images we saw in class. Remember, we saw those images of the methane lake and then we saw the image where it seemed to have disappeared. I'm also going to highlight what I think is really important. It says they found something that's common on Earth but very unusual in the rest of the solar system, lakes and seas. So that tells me that this must be pretty unique. It's unusual in the rest of the solar system. This must be important. Let's continue. Paragraph 2. Besides Earth, Titan is the only body in our solar system with enough liquid on its surface to fill lakes and seas. Well, I've already got a question here. I know that on Earth, the lakes and seas are made of water, but what about on Titan? What substance is in the lakes and seas? Hopefully, the article is going to answer my question. Let's continue. Titan's lakes and seas are filled mainly with thick, tar-like substances, such as methane and ethane. Titan also has methane gas in its atmosphere, just as Earth has water vapor in its atmosphere. So it seems like I found the answer to my question. I was able to answer my question by reading through the text further. Let's continue to paragraph 3. Titan has summer and winter seasons when its surface becomes warmer and colder. Hey, let's make a connection. Just like Earth, we have seasons too. However, because it is so far from the sun, even in summer, Titan is very cold. Its average surface temperature is about negative 179 degrees Celsius, which is equal to negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh my goodness, that is so cold. Just as a kind of connection here, guys, in LA today, it's about 70 degrees Fahrenheit. I can't believe how cold that would be on Titan. Burr. I'm going to write that. Burr. Let me take a look at these images. The bottom image says Titan has seas, lakes, and an atmosphere. It's kind of hard to see this picture. It says the illustration shows the methane rain that falls on the surface of Titan. The surface of Titan is covered with lakes and seas of liquid methane. And then, just like we read at the very beginning, Titan is a moon of the planet Saturn. I think looking at my article, I would highlight maybe two more important details. I'm going to highlight that caption that says, Titan is a moon of the planet Saturn, because that reminds me where it is. I already highlighted that it has lakes and seas, and now I'm just going to highlight that because it is so far from, sorry, because it is so far from the sun, even in summer, Titan is very cold. I think that's an important detail to remember. And there we go. All done.